No, I lost the hydraulics. I lost the hydraulics. There's some finger trouble here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Hello and welcome to another edition of Tech Talk and we're here in the Las Vegas Grand Prix. I'm joined as ever by the science teacher you wish you'd had at school, our resident technical expert, Albert Febrega. How Hello, are you doing, Albert? Fine, thank you. And you? G good, thank you. I've Good. no idea what time of day it is. It's a bit cold. It's a little bit cold. I know it's time for Tech Talk though. Today we're talking diffs. Let's warm up. Differentials, absolutely. Uh, we're talking about differentials. Now, every car has them. Your car at home will, for example. They're a little bit different though, of course, on a Formula One car. Now, last time out in Brazil, we saw a prime example of yep. what happens when a differential stops working. Yep. What did we see? And uh, it has an hydraulic problem that is driving the differential, so it has a big influence to the car behavior. Laura, today you're gonna be my driver, my mechanic, and my engineer, so be ready. Oh my goodness It's gonna be me. exhausting because... This is demanding our bear, but I'm up to the challenge. Okay, it's, it. it's a difficult concept to try to explain. <laughs> I will do my best, but uh, I hope that this uh, clarifies a little bit as a concept. Don't get in perf perfectly inside the Formula One because it's really complex, but we will try to do it. The first thing to do and to explain is where the differential in a Formula One car goes. Okay. Uh, we have a Ferrari here and uh, the differential goes, we have the engine, the clutch, the gearbox, and the very far end, here in this area, we have the differential. A differential is nothing else, you can hold the car, mm -hmm. than this, a crown pinion, like this, that goes the very far end of the car, that has two main functions. The first one is to change the rotational flow of the engine, the part that is coming from the engine and the gearbox, to its wheel. Okay. So we have a dry shaft going to the left and another dry shaft mm -hmm. going to the right. So the movement that is coming to the engine, we change it in 90 degrees and then we split it in each wheel to move the car forward as, as well rearwards. But uh, we, we're not talking about so forward. And then there is different functions that the differential in a Formula One can create. Mm -hmm. But it's time to explain as a concept what's the differential. Okay. You ready? Can we'll we see it? Let's see it in practice then. Do you want to be my driver now? I'm going to be the driver. Here we go. Okay, we I'm go. ready. Okay. So we have here Las Vegas truck. So you're gonna right. you're gonna drive the car. Okay, and here I we will go. ask you to do your best race line. So we are going on that way, no, not the other way around. The only time I've done karting, I came P26 of P27. Be within the track limits. Okay. <laughs> there's Please. a lot. Okay, there's a lot riding on this. I'm yep. gonna go here, okay. quite close. Yeah. I think I'm going to get some curb. Oh, you can I'm going to get a bit of curb. I'm yeah. going to get a bit of curb. Track uh, limits. There. An opening, yeah. Get the race line exit. going from the inside to yep. the outside. How was that? Was that good? I've seen better drivers, but it's uh, enough. A five, five, five points. It can improve. But what I will do now is to try to draw your race line. Okay. But the inner wheel and the outer wheel. Okay. Okay. So more or less, it will be something like that. Tell me if I'm wrong. Huh? If I'm not on your I, race line, I feel like I've got a bit of curb here. Let's get a bit curb of curb. Are you there. Yeah, with come a curb? On, yeah, okay. let's get some curb. Okay. Why not? It's going to be something like that. Okay. And now we're going to draw the outer line. Okay. okay. Yeah, so the outer wheel, of course. Yeah, the outer wheel. Okay. It's going to be something like this, like this. Is that okay for you, more or less? Yeah, that's Can you put a, it's the car okay. over? It's let's okay. put the car over and see where we are. If we're describing exactly. It's. It's pretty More perfect. Less. It's pretty More perfect. Less. Okay, good. Ten points so, for you out there. Let me do one thing now. I'll take this one and I'll put it straight here. That's it. And okay. now outer line. I'll put it same starting point and Okay. So the outer wheel line, this one here, is is longer. It's a lot longer. longer than the inner wheel. It's doing Longer way yep. than the inner one. Mm -hmm. So we need a system on the car that allows us to do thing, these things. Okay, let's because see it then. Otherwise, if we have a rigid axle, like in a go-kart, for example, mm -hmm. we would have a lot of problems. What I've done here is a machine. You've made this, right? Yeah, yeah, <laughs> a bit complicated. Just another one he's made and brought yeah. along to Las Vegas. Of course, why not? Why? So <laughs> we have uh, left and, and uh, right uh, okay. wheels with the axles, its axles, and a middle device, let's say, that is representing this okay. pebble, pinion, mm -hmm. this, okay, this one. Okay, so the engine movement is coming from this side. We have put some spikes, and what happened if, in some manner, we are putting the power together in a rigid thing, a rigid axle, that 
We cannot move one side or yes, the other. Yeah. Okay. okay. And you have so at some point, you will go going straight. Or super understeer. Yeah. yeah, super understeer. Mm -hmm. Or when we put the, put the, the, the feet on the, or the foot on the throttle, oversteer because yeah. it's delivering the same axe, the mm -hmm. same uh, rotation in each side. So we need something that allows us to move a little bit this. So if we put these things with the spikes, everyone is rotating at the same time. Okay. If we allow this middle axle to rotate as well, we will see how, for example, we can rotate it in different, but it goes up. So now, I need you to be a mechanic. Let's put oh more gosh. spikes. Here we go. Can you? Okay. I can, I can. Yeah. Okay, am I going in here? It's right hand alone. Oh, in here? So I was going no, in there. Yeah, put it, put it there, put it there in as here? well. Okay, yeah, yeah, okay. we need to put a lot of... The microphone's there. going down. Yes. The nut down, the nut down. Okay, as a mechanic, you get a fire <laughs> as well. There's some finger yes. trouble here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Go for it, that's not bad, that's not bad. Okay, so we have already more spikes on it. One, two, three, four, oh. each side. So what we have to do with this is, now look at that. So in case that we are moving the wheels on the same rotation wow. speed, yeah. okay? So we are on the straight and everything is rotating. You see that the bevel pinion is fixed, it's not moving. Yeah. But imagine that we are arriving in a corner and we need less rotation mm -hmm. on this wheel. This I is love. allowing. This okay. is allowing, wow. and we can have the same speed or different speed on the left on the right. So it is a, a system that it makes us to understand this concept that uh, I will improve in one manner. Let's move to something a little bit more complex. This is the exterior of it, isn't it? Yes. So what's actually happening inside? We are on it. Okay, we're on it. Yeah. What I will do is to change these spikes that we have here with a proper pinion. So imagine okay. that we put like 20 spikes in every single tire, okay. like this one as well. And we put it here. It's often best that Albert does this because I do have a habit of breaking the incredible creations and inventions that Albert does bring to Tech Talk. So I'm very happy to see you doing mechanics for now, Albert. Okay. I think this is a role much better suited to you and I can just stand here and admire your work. And let's put the, the final one. It's like we are putting a lot of spikes on it. Yeah. So we have a system that allows us to do the same thing in a better manner. Okay. As, as we say, if we have the same rotational on left or right, mm -hmm. you see that the mid pinion is not moving. Yep. But if we have something that allows us to do different ah, speeds. So it rotates. Okay, it's rotating. I see. Yes. So we have different speeds on the left and the right with this system wow. that allows us to do it. But this system has a little problem. Okay. It's very nice, but it has a little problem. Imagine that you put your wheel on the grass, or you have a wheel that is unloaded. Right, okay. Or uh, there is a standing water. What will happen? All the power, all the torque that we are applying to the disc mm -hmm. is going to this wheel. That will start spinning. Right. It will start spinning, mm -hmm. and the car will not move forward. All the torque will go to the wheel that is unloaded Another. or is uh, on the water or mm -hmm. on the grass. So we need a system that allows us at some point to fix everything. Okay. And even if one wheel is fixed or one wheel is on the water or on the grass or unloaded, we're still having okay. some torque going on the left yes, okay. in the inside where we have the traction. And this is what is called, this is an open, let's say, diff that we have in any single car, mm -hmm. but in motorsport, we have this, for example, okay. this is the sun and the satellites that is representing this, but then we have discs. Okay. Discs. It's like a clutch, like a switch that allows us to, at some point, block completely the differential. Okay. So even if we have a slippery on one side mm -hmm. or we have a very tight corner, we still have movement, we still have right. torque on the other side. Okay. And then we can control with this many parameters. Formula One is a little bit more complex. Mm -hmm. We're still of having course. the same concept of sun and satellite and uh, the same concept with the gears and these plates, this clutch. But it's electronically, electronically and hydraulically controlled. So we can have different pressures between this and we create a window between the free differential, the open differential, mm -hmm. to a completely blocked differential. Between here okay. we have thousands of parameters controlled by the longitudinal 
uh, axis uh, movement or lateral mm -hmm. or speed or torque demand of the the driver so they can make all the adjustments all they the adjustment. want so it's super flexible in that sense super for them. probably you've seen on the steering wheel like uh, like uh, entry corner mm -hmm. mid corner or high speed adjustments so with the driver when the for example the degradation on the tires is increasing yeah. they can change the balance of the wow. car and they can make these adjustments completely different between the free differential or completely locked differential there is a lot of parameters that they can use wow so differentials truly do make all the difference yes you agree you agree and it's part of the driver to play with it during the race to yeah. control the balance of the car very complex that's incredible and amazing to see it like this as well it makes it so much more clear thank you very much albert as ever for another brilliant tech talk here in las vegas we'll see you for one final one of this 2023 season in abu dhabi